Welcome to the Design Master Electrical video tutorial series. This series will show you how to start a new project, use alignment points in your drawings, create and manage panels and other distribution equipment, generate and modify a one-line diagram, create light fixtures and receptacles, circuit devices, create and circuit equipment connections and switches, and perform point-by-point -point photometrics. If you'd like to follow along, links to the written tutorial and project files can be found in the description at the bottom of this page. This video covers equipment connections and switches. Topics include creating and modifying equipment on the drawing, working with equipment in the database, changing equipment circuit settings, inserting and modifying the equipment list, displaying equipment on the one-line diagram, inserting switches and connecting them to devices, circuiting switches, and modeling three-way switches. Let's get started. The process for creating equipment connections is different from other devices. Rather than using a project schedule, use the Create Equipment command. Here, you can set all of the information for a single piece of equipment, then create it either on the drawing or in the project database. Set the equipment callout, volts, disconnect type, load one type, and load one connected values as shown. Then press the create on drawing button. Specify insertion points for the equipment, disconnect, and callout on the drawing. The disconnect block and callout are based upon the information you entered earlier. You can make changes to equipment on the drawing the same way as other devices, using the AutoCAD Move and Copy commands and Query Device. When you run the Query or Edit Multiple Equipment command, you are shown a list of all equipment connections in the database. The list also includes the equipment circuit connection and any drawings on which it is currently inserted. You can select one or more equipment from the list or press the Select from Drawing button. Here, we can change Drawing Note 1 to On Roof and close the dialog box to update the callout for both equipment connections. To demonstrate how equipment can be created in the database without inserting it on the drawing, we've used the Create Equipment command to create a piece of equipment with these settings. Press the Create in Database button. A dialog box will confirm that the equipment has been created. There are commands that deal specifically with equipment in the database. First, we'll copy the equipment we just created using the Copy Equipment in Database command. Select RTU3. Set the new equipment callout to RTU4. And press the Copy button. You can also use the Copy and Edit button to copy an equipment and immediately edit the settings for the copy. Equipment in the database must be queried using the Query or Edit Multiple Equipment command. Query RTU3 and change the connected load to 25. Run the command again Select RTU 3 and 4, and set Drawing Note 1 to On Roof. To remove equipment from the database, use the Delete Equipment from Database command. To avoid accidentally deleting database entries for equipment on the drawing, only equipment that has not been inserted on a drawing will be shown. Select RTU4, press the Delete button, and confirm the deletion. 
To circuit equipment connections, you can use the circuit equipment and database command. To circuit RTU3, select it from the top list. Select panel H1 from the distribution equipment list. Select circuit 7 and press the circuit equipment button. You can make changes to the circuit for equipment connections, such as breaker and wire sizing, using the query device command. We've created and inserted a new equipment called AHU, which has voltage and load 1 set as shown, to demonstrate. Run the circuiting command, which was covered in part 5. Select panel H1 and an available circuit. Press the circuit devices button. Select AHU on the drawing and return to the dialog box. Notice the breaker has been sized to 70 and the wire size to number 4. Close the dialog box and query the equipment with the query devices command. In the breaker and wire sizing section, the breaker and wire sizes are currently set to be based upon the MCA and MOCP ratings. If we set the MCA to 100 and the MOCP to 40, the sizes will be adjusted accordingly. The breaker has gone from 70 to 40, and the wire size from number 4 to number 1. To insert an equipment schedule on the drawing, use the Insert Equipment List command. This dialog box is similar to the one used for the Insert Light Fixture Project Schedule command covered in Part 4. Additional settings let you determine how the list is sorted and the information displayed in equipment callouts on the drawing. Updating the schedule and modifying the columns works the same way as other schedules. Equipment connections can be shown in the one-line diagram, which we covered in Part 3. First, we'll use the Query or Edit Multiple Equipment command to make changes to the equipment. Select AHU and RTU3 to edit. Then press the One Line Diagram Settings button. Here, you can set whether the equipment is shown on the One Line Diagram, the block used to represent the equipment, and the disconnect and overcurrent protection blocks shown on the branch circuit. Set Show on One Line Diagram to Yes. Press the OK button, and press the OK button again to save the changes. Equipment can be inserted individually using the Insert Distribution Equipment command. Select AHU. Press the OK button and specify the insertion point. You can also run the generate command to have the equipment inserted automatically. Switches can be inserted on the drawing the same way as light fixtures and receptacles using the insert switch command. Your project should start with a generic switch and three-way switch in the switch project schedule. For now, make sure the generic switch is selected, press the OK button, and insert the switch on the drawing. Then run the command again. This time, enter A for the group. Press the OK button, and insert the switch on the drawing. You will be asked to insert the A for the group as well, to help you separate switch groups from one another. To connect devices to a switch, 
use the connect device to switch group command. Select a switch. Then select the devices you want to connect. If you connect devices to a switch with a group callout, the callout will be added to the devices as well. Switches are circuited the same way as other devices on the drawing. Run the circuiting command. Select distribution equipment and a circuit. Press the Circuit Devices button and select a switch to circuit the switch and any devices connected to it. Selecting a connected device works as well. If you run the Draw Home Run and Loops command and select the switch, the loops between the switch and all of the connected devices will be drawn. To demonstrate how three-way switches are modeled, we've inserted these light fixtures on the drawing using the Insert Light Fixture command. Run the Insert Switch command. Select the three-way switch and place two of the switches on the drawing. To link the switches together, Use the Add Switch to Switch Group command. Select one switch, then the other to group them together. Then use the Connect Device to Switch Group command. Select either switch and connect it to all of the light fixtures in the room. You can then use the circuiting command with panel L1 selected to circuit all of the devices. Finally, run the draw home run and loops command to show the connection on the drawing. This concludes part 6 of the electrical video tutorial series. In the next video, we'll cover point-by-point -point photometrics.